So in this video, we're going to review how to solve systems by substitution. So remember that there are three ways to solve systems of equations, and we already talked about graphing, and today we're going to talk about substitution. So what happens in substitution? When one of your equations is in y equals or x equals form, you can use substitution to solve the system of equations. So basically what happens is you're going to take the expression from the solved equation. So for example, here you can see y equals 6x minus 11. So I'm going to take that 6x minus 11 and I'm going to plug it into the second equation in place of y. Okay, And so that's how I get this new equation right here, which I can simplify and solve to find the value of x. So here in the second system, you can see I have an equation that's solved for x. So I'm going to take this negative 3y plus 1 and I'm going to substitute it into the second equation in place of x. That's going to give me an equation that only has one variable in it, which is y, and then I can solve for y. So remember, the solution to a system of equations is an ordered pair. So once we've solved to find either x or y, we have to plug it back in to find the value of the other variable. And so remember, when the solution is plugged into the system, the x and y values of the ordered pair will make both equations true. So here are the steps to solve a system of equations by substitution. We're going to start off by solving one of the equations for one of the variables, and then substitute this expression into the other equation. Then we're going to solve for the remaining variable, and then plug this value into one of the equations to solve for the other variable. So here's a flowchart that shows you how to solve systems of equations by substitution. So notice that the first step is to rearrange this first equation so that it's already solved for y, right? So we have y by itself, and then we can take the 6x minus 11 and plug it into the second equation in place of y. So then we're going to distribute this negative 3, and then we're going to combine like terms and simplify so that we can solve for x, which gives us x equals 2. So now that we have this x equals 2, we take it back and plug it into one of the original equations in order to solve for the other variable, which is y. So that gives us y equals 1, and we have the solution to the system of equations, which is 2, 1. So let's work through this example. So in this example, the nice thing is that step 1 is already taken care of for us um, because the first equation is already solved for x. So we're just going to take this now and make this like the definition of x that we're going to plug in to our second equation. So that gives us 3 times negative 3y plus 1 plus 3y equals 15. So remember, we need to use the distributive property and multiply every term on the inside by 3. So that's going to give us negative 9y plus 3 plus 3y equals 15. Remember that the next step in simplifying expressions is to combine like terms. So I'm going to combine my negative 9y and my 3y because those are the like terms I have on the left side of the equation. So negative 9y plus 3y, that's going to become negative 6y. So I have negative 6y plus 3 equals 15. Now I can just solve for y by first subtracting 3 from both sides. And when I do that, I get negative 6y equals 15 minus 3, which is 12. And now I can divide both sides by negative 6. When I divide both sides by negative 6, I get y equals negative 2. So now I'm going to take this y equals negative 2 and plug it back into one of the original equations. So it's actually easier to use the equation that's already solved for x. And so I plugged in um, the negative 2 for y. So I have negative 2 plus 1. And so that gives me x equals negative 3 times negative 2, which is 6. And so I have 6 plus 1, which gives me x equals 7. So remember to write your solution as an ordered pair. So my solution is going to be 7, negative 2. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try solving the system by substitution on your own. So in this problem, it's nice because it's already um, solved the second equation for x. So we're just going to take this 2y plus 8 and plug it in here. Um, when we distribute, we get this equation. And then we're going to combine our like terms, which gives us 18y plus 64 equals 28. And then we can solve for y, which gives us y equals negative 2. So I take that y equals negative 2 and I plug it into my second equation. And so I get x equals 4. So my solution is 4, negative 2. So remember, when we're solving systems, sometimes we do encounter systems that don't have just one solution, right? So remember, a system of equations can have no solution, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. So we can see these when graphing, right, by telling if the lines cross or if they're not going to intersect and, or if they look like the same line. Well, when solving algebraically, this is going to look a little different. 
So if we solve and you know we do all our um, steps correctly and we get an equation that makes no sense, okay? So if we get like five equals negative two, the system will have no solution, okay? On the other hand, if we get an equation that's always true, like four equals four, then that means the system has infinite solutions. So we can still encounter these different situations when we're solving algebraically. It's just gonna look a little bit different than what it does when we solve by graphing. So here, for example, let's try solving the system by substitution. So I don't have one of my equations already solved for a variable, but it looks like I can pretty quickly solve this first equation for x, right? So I can take this x minus 3y equals 6, and I can go ahead and add 3y to both sides, and that is going to allow me to solve for x. So I have x equals 3y plus 6. So now I'm going to take this 3y plus 6, and I'm going to plug it into my second equation everywhere I see x. So that's going to give me the equation 4 times 3y plus 6 minus 12y equals 15. So I'm going to start off by distributing, right? I need to distribute this 4, so I have 12y plus 24 minus 12y equals 15. Um, I'm going to combine my like terms, so I have 12y minus 12y plus 24 equals 15. Um, so notice that my 12y and minus 12y, they combine and they cancel each other out. So I'm going to end up with 24 equals 15, right? And that is an equation that makes absolutely no sense. 24 does not equal 15. So this system will have no solution. Okay, so anytime you encounter something that doesn't make any sense, that means you have no solution. So now let's try solving this system by substitution. So this is one of those ones that's already solved for x. So I can go ahead and take this negative 2y plus 1 and plug it into my second equation. So I have 2 times negative 2y plus 1 plus 4y equals 2. So I'm going to distribute my 2 and I have negative 4y plus 2 plus 4y equals 2. Okay, so I have negative 4y plus 4y. I'm just combining my like terms here. Plus 2 equals 2. Well, negative 4y plus 4y, those are equal and opposite, so they're going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to end up with 2 equals 2. Okay, and that is something that is always true, right? So if we have something that is always true, that means we're going to have infinite solutions to the system of equations. So when you can um, solve systems of equations by substitution, um, remember that systems of equations can have one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions.